Generating Service Invoice in Busy This presentation will give you an overview on generating service invoice that is you are entering an invoice for the services provided by you for example you are providing AMC services of computers or charging any repair or maintenance charges in that case you need to enter a service bill and apply GST on it under this presentation we will learn how you can enter a, a bill for the services provided by you for this you need to create an item for the services provided as I have taken an example of AMC of computers, in such a case you need to create an item with the name of AMC of computers and then enter bill for it. In this presentation we will see how you can create an item for the services provided by you and how you will configure that item. First of all, we'll go to Administration Masters Item Add Option and create a new item. Here we are creating an item for the AMC of computers. Suppose we have computer AMC related work wherein we provide AMC of computers and repair or maintenance services then we'll create items for the same. Here first of all we have created item with the name AMC of computers. Take its unit as pieces like uh, in this case in case of AMC of computers you need to maintain unit also quantity also that is you can provide AMC for one computer or in bulk like if you have taken a contract from a company then you can provide AMC of more than one computers. Specify its tax category as services 18% that is this is a case of services. Specify the HSN SSE code for the item. Next specify supply outward account. Here you need to specify the service charges receipt account. That is whenever this item will be used in transaction service charge receipt account will be affected. After that specify yes in the don't maintain stock balance. As it is a service item you do not need to maintain stock balance for this. So we will specify yes in the don't maintain stock balance that is we do not need to maintain stock for this item. Click save button to save the item. Next we will create an item for repair charges like repair or servicing of the computers. For this we have given the name as repair charges. Here we have taken the unit as any not applicable. That is we charge a lump sum amount for the repair charges and we do not need to maintain the item quantity, unit and price for the same. Where the main advantage of taking the unit as NA not applicable is that while entering transaction busy will automatically shift focus to amount field. That is you just need to select the item and specify its amount. Item quantity, unit and price fields will be automatically skipped. Next we will specify the tax category same as services 18%. Supply outward account as service charges receipt and don't maintain stock balance as yes. If you try to change don't maintain stock balance to no then busy will show a message box that since you have not maintained unit for it that is unit is not applicable you cannot maintain stock for this item. It's a very simple concept that for goods you need to maintain stock for service items you do not need to maintain any stock. Next we will enter transactions for this item. Here we are entering a supply outward or sales voucher. Specify the details related to the header of the voucher. Here we are taking the sale type as LGST 18% that is a local transaction taxable at 18% party as the ASTA enterprises. Now we will select the item as AMC of computers. Specify units as 5, price is 1500. Is we have provided AMC services of 5 computers with AMC at the rate of 1500 each computer. So total 7500 rupees on which we will charge CGST at the rate of 9% and SGST at the rate of 9%. So on 7500 we have charged 9% CGST and 9% SGST. Click save button to save the voucher. Next we will print this service invoice in the standard format. Since standard format is not configured, we will configure it first. Now you can see on the screen a bill for the service item. Here it is showing the AMC of computer 7500 rupees on which 675 CGST and 675 SGST is charged. Next we will enter one more service invoice. This invoice we are entering for repair charges. Here we have taken the sale type as LGST 18% and party as cash. So you can see on the screens as I have selected the item as repair charges automatically the focus has been shifted to amount field. Quantity, unit and price fields are automatically showing not applicable not applicable its unit we have selected already and quantity and price is zero. So I just need to select the item and specify its amount. Next we will specify the CGST at 9% bills and SGST at 
click save button to save the voucher after saving the voucher we have again seen the preview of the sale invoice in the standard format you can see on the screen repair charges 500 rupees on which 45 rupees cgst and 45 rupees sdst is charged next we'll go to display stock status closing stock alphabetical report here we are viewing the report for all items on the screen you can see it's showing the stock of computer as opening quantity 10 pieces it's not showing stock of amc of computers or repair charges items since we have not maintained the stock for these items so these are not shown in stock status stock status will show stock of only those items for which we have maintained the stock balance next we'll go to gstr reports gst summaries gst summary option we have generated gst summary for a date range on the screen you can see 18 percent local transaction in which taxable amount is 8000 rupees on pressing enter key you can see both the transactions we have entered on which cgst and sgst has been charged next we'll view gstr1 here we are viewing gstr1 for the 4a b2b section you can see the amc of computer transaction on the screen since this transaction is made to a party that's why it is coming under this section next we'll view gstr1 for 7a1 b2c section in this section it will show the cash transactions only so it's a very simple concept to enter bill for the services provided by you you just need to create items for the services you are providing and specify its tax category and set don't maintain stock balance to yes after that you can easily generate service invoices hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily generate service invoice in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel